All right, and this is why I say I'm qualified to do this here. This, as you can see from what you're looking at here, this, I was doing this uh, in 1968, 1970. I got out of the Army in 1970, and then I went right into this, 1970 or what. All right. This is not stuff that you do on a Friday afternoon and forget about this. This is stuff that I was deeply into, and I go back to this right now, and I'm going to show you what I went back to find because it pertains. It's all structural atoms, the angstrom units between the, 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 the nucleus and the quantum states and the bonding of, and, and, and angularities and voltages and energy changes, and, and then we got to magnetic... Okay, this is the octet rule, uh, which is a chemical rule that uh, points to Nobel gases, noble gases. And there's eight of them, uh, well, I, I think there's seven or eight gases, but anyway, there's, um, there's eight electrons in the, what they call a valence shell, the, it's, it's a rule of eight. And there's eight of them, and that is the configuration of noble gas. Now, I'm going to show you something that is extremely interesting. All right, that's Rodney's experiment. Hold on, that's going to come, and that is also extreme. Now watch this. Watch this. Let's start off at the beginning. What, what, we, ha what we have here, now again, I'm using people's videos, and, and we're doing this as the fair use uh, rules, and, and I'm not profiting from this. Now, I'm going to blow this up. Where do you see this? Now, what they're doing here, I'm going to start from the beginning. And look at what Tesla says. You want to find the secrets to the universe? Think energy, frequency, vibration, 100% exactly correct. We're going to see the literal, whoops, we're going to see the literal shape of atoms, it seems to me, and they're the noble gas atoms, which are full frequency atoms, and they stabilize at certain harmonic vibrations or frequencies, whatever you want to call them. They're vibrating this plate. And I, I think they, uh, but anyway, I, I believe these are the actual way that the molecules, now watch, we're going to always talking about the rule of eight. Look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With the center around, with the lower ones. Now, as it gets more and more complicated, same thing. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're all around in the, in the same eight. You'll see eight every single time. You have to look at it carefully. I, I had it stopped here and there, but you can see there's eight of them. And I believe, and what I would like to see, is to have a secondary vibrator over here. And create different energy levels between here and here and see if you could sink in to become a multi-structured molecule. And if we knew the frequency that this needed to be to be a certain atom and we knew what the frequency over here would be a different one, we could combine two atoms to see the actual structure. Now I don't know if it's possible, I'm just speculating, but what I'm seeing I think it might be possible. Now, I'm going to show you the light experiments that Rodney does, but this is where we're saying that is literally the architect.